So there have been a bunch of new images revealed for the ARC show, and it's complicated. As far as I gather, the only source of the images is unofficial. I originally found them on Instagram, then Twitter, and finally YouTube, which has the most. The YouTube channel is Riker Plays, and I had to toss the transcript into Google Translate, so my understanding of it might not be the best. Because Google Translate is Google Translate. And firstly, all credit for originally posting and finding the images goes to Riker Plays. From what I've gathered from the transcript, it's alright to make another video involving the content in that one, as long as there's credit given, and that is completely understandable. So hopefully if I figure it out, I'll provide a link to the original video as well as the images on Twitter. Apparently they're unpublished images. A lot of them look legit, so I'm going to talk about them. I must say I'm a bit more worried about how closely this show will follow canon after seeing these, but they are just vague images. So most of this is just assumptions. Small changes I can get, but some of the stuff that seems suggested in this, I'm not sure if I'm too happy about it. I am personally hoping that it will be closely following the notes as best as a series can, so my thoughts will reflect that. The first thing I would like to mention is the list of new characters. There's now an image for most of them, along with a brief description. A lot of them are very blurry, but from what I've noticed, many of the descriptions are the same from the original cast list. And please excuse the sloppy pronunciation of any names. I am not the best with names. And for the pronunciations, I'm really just going with anything I can find from other people covering the series. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! But the first character is Cassia. Since her description is actually different from the cast list, it states that she is an independently-minded Roman noblewoman and long-lost romantic partner to Nerva. I don't know how to feel about that. If this is related to his backstory and she's seen in flashbacks, I think that's great. We don't get to see much of Nerva's past when compared to some of the other characters who get more notes. So I'd like to see more of his past life. But giving him a romantic partner in the main story seems like too large of a change. But maybe I'm just wary of romantic subplots in general. The second is a new character, sort of, labeled Scary, Dodo, and Monkey. The image shows a Mesopithecus, Dodo, and Parasaur. This is the first time we get to see the monkey in the series style, and also I wonder if the Parasaur is Helena's. If he's actually named Scary, that would be hilarious. I love it. Although the color of the head crest fin thing looks somewhat different. I'm not going to really discuss any of the other characters since most of the information about them has been known for a while, but they do have new images, which is cool. Out of the poster images, I guess is what I'd call them, the first of the new characters is Henry, who has a crossbow, is in some sort of wood building, and has clothes that remind me of Rockwell's. The second is Lacey, another new character who is seen holding a dodo. There's other creatures in the image, a parasaur, what I think is a young quetzal, and something else in the background. Possibly a bronto? The interesting thing is the parasaur that looks a lot like Helena's parasaur. I'm wondering if she could be the character mentioned in Helena's Parasaur dossier, or at least filling a similar role in the series. Next is Kor the Prophet, a very interesting character since he is described as being from a time before recorded history, which really intrigues me. There's an Argentavis, which is perhaps one of my favorite things from these images, because I have been waiting to see the Argentavis design, especially so I can picture Helena and Rockwell's Argentavis better in this style. Also, they look like my first Argentavis, and she was the best bird ever. The creature on his shoulder is so blurry I can't tell what it is, but my guess is that it is the Mesopithecus monkey from the previous image. Lastly, the symbols shown remind me a lot of the implant and the obelisk symbols. It's a reoccurring part of many of the tech designs, including the robotic creatures like the Enforcer and Defender, so it has to mean something here. I'm a bit worried about the inclusion of an actual prophecy, since I think that would change the plot a lot, but I'm also very intrigued. The next new character is the Gladiatrix, who we've already seen in concept art before, but she has compies? Tamed compies, which I think is really cool. Also, yet another character we get to see in the series style for the first time. And finally, the note characters. I have a lot to say about them. 
Helena's is the same as the original poster for the series. And then Megan, oh my goodness, I love this character so much. She is my favorite, and I don't have much to say, except I love this character even more now. And I did not know that was possible. That spear slash sword thing is so awesome. I only wish we got to see her after. Also the background. Everything's on fire, and I think that means something. The one scene that comes to mind is the battle between the painted sharks and the new legion, when Nerva sets the sharks' camp on fire. If that is what this is, then that means we get to see that scene. I was worried there wouldn't be many scenes that were not from Helena's perspective, but this might prove otherwise. My first thought was that when she fought the person who was attacking the village in one of her first notes, but if it follows the notes that closely, then the armor and weapon that she has on the image are probably from that event. And then there's Nerva, with a dead raptor. Or maybe two dead raptors. Unless the dead dinosaurs in this series follow arc game physics. I was wondering if there would be a dramatic fight scene between him and some of the creatures, especially considering he has a dinosaur skull, which he had to get from somewhere. I also like the dramatic cape flowing in the background a lot. Once again, the raptors look very similar to the ones that have already been shown in the trailer, and they look really cool. Rockwell is staring quite menacingly at a tech weapon, with what is probably all his chemistry supplies in the background. I don't know, I can't tell. This is one of the things that worries me. The characters are not supposed to know about tech weapons like this until Aberration. The only ones who are able to make them in the notes are the people who came from the future, or our future at least. For them it's the past. And I know that in the game, you learn the engrams for some tech stuff after the island's boss battles, but I think it's different in the notes, and I like that. So how did Rockwell get it here? There's the possibility that he found it somehow, somebody gave it to him, or maybe he stole it, which is probably typical Rockwell, and just didn't tell anyone. And I think that would make sense for him, especially later in the story, since... He was keeping a lot of secrets then, but where would he get it from? Maybe he found it abandoned somewhere? If there are people with tech on the island currently in the story, I'm sure everyone would know, unless they too were keeping it secret. It probably would have changed the outcome of a lot of the battles if any large group with tech or from our future fought Nerva. This could also be from the aberration part of the story, which raises a lot more questions. The most important one being, where is Rockwell's beard? I'll be talking about this further with the last two characters as well. If the first two confirmed seasons are supposedly supposed to cover Island through Aberration, just speculation from what's seen in these pictures, then where's Raya and Diana on the cast list? Possibly John Dakea too? Or even some of the side characters from Scorched Earth and the Island. Speaking of John, there is an image of a John, or a character named John, I have no idea if he's the one from Scorched Earth or not. It doesn't look like Scorched Earth in the background, and he's riding a Tranodon, which can't be found in Scorched Earth. I think introducing him that early in the story would be too much of a change for me. Because I'm not sure why you do that. I really liked his story in Scorched Earth, and I'm not sure if it would make as much sense if he already had experiences with arcs on the island. Or maybe he goes to the island after Scorched Earth, and this is, you know, a different clone of him, like what happened with Santiago, since the, his Scorched Earth notes might have even taken place before the island did. Speaking of Santiago, one of the things I was wondering was whether Santiago would look like Vin Diesel does in the animated series, just like he does in the games. Since he's wearing armor, I cannot tell. So, from this image alone, yeah, he looks like the one in the notes. His design in the notes is very different from his in the game, in Arc 2 and in Genesis. I love the tech armor design so much, though, and I'm very excited to see it in the show. I wasn't sure how they'd do it, since it seems kind of complicated. It's just like it would be a pain to animate. The bulb dog's there, too, which can only be found in Aberration, in the canon maps and outside of the simulations, at least. And not including Genesis 2, because I just remembered it's there. So I guess the canon maps that are arcs. Which means this is probably an image for the aberration part of the story. A lot of the creature designs seem to be very close to the ones in game. The bull dog looks a little bit more stylized. I love it. I'm very excited to see some of the aberration creatures in the show style. 
I'm wondering if they stylized it like that, though. Because it's the cute, marketable animal sidekick character. <laughs> now I wonder what the shine horn would look like, too. I've always headcanoned Santiago with some sort of glow pet. The one I always pictured was a feather light. But Bulb Dog works, too. I was also worried that this series wasn't going to cover Aberration, since it only had two seasons. I was mainly thinking that because if I was making a series based on the notes, I'd save a season for each map, but... And there's only two confirmed seasons so far. And since there was a mention of the live-action movies, I thought maybe that would be Aberration. I'm glad that Aberration is going to be in the series, at least somewhat, since I'm very biased towards animated things. And Aberration is my favorite part of the story just as a whole. My favorite specific scene comes from Extinction, but that's a completely different topic for a different day. My first thought was that Santiago was in the cast list just because they had a voice for him in the games, especially considering there was no Diana and there was no Raya. And I don't think there's a John in the cast list, so I'm still very excited for the show. Just a bit worried. Especially considering this is the first actual news for the series that we've gotten and the first new images in almost a year, and they didn't even come from Wildcard, which is really weird. Anyways, I probably have more to say. This is all I could think of at the moment. My head hurts trying to process this information. 